Hey, Trick Class, I want to go over some of these problems from the, the parabola homework set. So on this little set of questions, we, we identify the vertex. It's pointed right there at it, so three twos in my vertex. And then it says if A is 4, what's your focus? Well, because this thing opens upward, not left and right, to get from the vertex to the focus, we move up or down, again, depending on the sign. But since A is positive 4, we're moving up to get to the focus. And we move up 4 units from the the y coordinate of the uh, the vertex. So adding 4 to 3, 2 will be 3, 6 is where we'll end up for our focus. All right, and then likewise, if we move from the vertex to the directrix, we're moving the opposite direction from the focus. So instead of moving up 4, we move down 4. So it's subtracting 4 from this. So 3, negative 2. So 2 minus 4 is negative 2. But it's not a point. It's a line now. And it's... And it's uh, horizontal because it needs to be uh, it, it needs to move left to right for the definition of a, a parabola it needs to be uh, perpendicular to axis of symmetry so it needs to be horizontal and horizontal lines are y equals a number this is x equals so that statement is not true the equation of the directrix will be y equals y coordinate there so 2 minus 4 since a is 4 and the y coordinate of the vertex is 2 so 2 minus 4 is negative 2 and it's y equals that, so it can be horizontal. So make sure you get, you get that idea down, how we move from the vertex to the focus and directrix. All right, now let's do one of these from start to finish, just all the different um, parts of a, a graph of a parabola. So we got an x squared and a y. So if you remember from previous courses, y equals x squared, that's this parabola that opens upward at the origin, right? There's y-axis, x-axis, all that. So that's that one. So th we know this thing's going to open upwards. When x is squared, it opens up and down. When y is squared, it opens left and right. So this is uh, this is similar to one we've seen before this class started. So this one's going to open up and down. Now the other thing you got to remember is the standard form for these, when x is squared, is 4 times some number times y. So this number in the front is negative 16. So that means that 4a is negative 16. So a is negative. So when I have my parabola, this opens at the origin. I know it opens at the origin, uh, or it touches the origin, because there's no uh, parentheses like x minus 1 squared, something like that. Uh, negative 16 times y plus 2. You know, we don't see these parentheses, so that means we're not shifted off the origin. So these go through the origin. You can also tell just because if x is 0, y is going to be 0 here. 0 squared is 0, negative 16 times something is 0, so it has to be 0. So it goes through the origin. Then a, whatever a is, that's what we do. We add a to the vertex, so 0, 0 is the vertex, and that is how we get to the focus. So because this thing is opening upward, the focus is going to be either above or below, depending on the sign of a. If it's positive, it's above. If it's negative, it's below. So the focus is going to be below, and it's going to be 4 units down. So there's negative 4. So there's where my focus is going to be. I'll color it red. Now for the directrix, you go in the opposite direction. So if I went down 40 at the focus, I go up 4, and I'll get the directrix. So it's horizontal. The reason, again, it's horizontal is it needs to be perpendicular to the axis of symmetry, and that's going to be the y-axis here. Now we're going to move away from, on the actual graph, we're going to move away from the vertex, away from the uh, directrix in the direction of the focus. Because that's just the definition of a parabola. We need to move away from the directrix. So it's going to look like that. And then for the plotting purposes, when we graph the equation, we're going to need a, another point. So you can use either of these two points. But remember, there is two points on a little horizontal line with the focus called the lattice rectum. And the lattice rectum, the nice thing about it is the number that's in front here, the negative 16, tells us how far left and right we go from the focus to uh, plot these points. So half of 16, 8 will be here. The other half, like negative 8, will be down here. Moving left 8 and right 8 will give us these points. They'll have the same y coordinate as the focus. So this will be at 8, negative 4. I can just use that point. Or I could also go left, negative 8, negative 4, and use that point when I plot the graph in just a second. All right, so there's all the different things I need. My focus, 0, negative 4. My directrix, y equals positive 4. My vertex, the origin. And then either of those other two points. So when I plot it, 
at, at the very end. All right, vertex is the origin, zero, zero. We're not shifting left or right, so that's always going to be my vertex if it's just x squared and y to the first. All right, zero is my x coordinate. I'm moving up and down, so y is the only thing changing. So add a to y, uh, the y coordinate of your vertex, and that'll give you your focus. The directrix, we move up four instead of down four, and it's y equal instead of x equal since it needs to be horizontal. All right, now comes the plot, so I'm just going to click this. We're going to click our parabola tool, so we got the up and down parabola when x is being squared. we got the sideways parabola when y is being squared. So when we click this, click anywhere, in, well, you don't click anywhere in there. You click on the origin, so I'm going to click 0, 0. That's my vertex. And then it wants a second, look at the, the graph. It wants a second, so one point to start it, and then a second point. So my second point is going to be, I had to move 8 to the right, and then down for eight to the right down four. there is my one of my two points on the line of structure again i could have used negative eight positive four but there's the two points just like it shows in the picture so you're just matching up what it has in the picture and there is my graph of my problem